is up guys? It's Chris from Smash Master Show here, and today we're covering another crazy leak regarding Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. I just want to say before we get started, I think this leak is real. I took one look at this leak and said out loud, dang, I can make a video about this leak. So if you don't want to get spoiled, please stay here anyway. I know I said this leak is real, but it could also be fake. So you could get spoiled, but probably not, because this leak is real. I said so in the thumbnail. But just to be safe, take this leak with a MASSIVE grain of salt. The last 10 leak videos I made this week were debunked while I was in the middle of uploading them, so anything can happen, I guess. Today's leak is one I pulled from Reddit. The last seven leaks or so were from 4chan, so I just wanted to mix things up a little bit, you know? A little variety. I'm all about variety. Anyway, GenoFan96 says Geno will be one of the DLC fighters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I know none of you will believe me, but I feel it is my civic duty to let you all know. By the way, I am the Tower of Smash Leaker. So, right away, we know that this guy has posted leaks before, which means he's a known leaker, and not just some... unknown leaker. I don't remember what the Tower of Smash leak was, but if that was a fake leak, why would this person make a second fake leak? It all adds up in this leak's favor so far. Anyway, the leaker goes on to clarify, Actually, I don't know if it's Gino for sure. My source would not tell me specifically, but he did tell me he knows it's not another Final Fantasy character, or a Dragon Quest character, or a Kingdom Hearts character, or a Chrono Trigger character, or a Nier Automata character. So it must be Gino. If you guys do not believe me, and I understand if you do not, leaks should be taken with a MASSIVE grain of salt. There will be a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Nintendo Direct sometime between April 1st and April 31st. When they announce the Direct, you will know I was telling the truth. Geno fans unite! So there you have it, folks. This leak seems to implicate Geno's inclusion in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And, when you think about it, what lends this leak even more credibility is the fact that one time, Sakurai mentioned Gino. I don't know about you, but that seems like pretty damning evidence to me. Now normally, I would talk about this leak for another 7 minutes or so, and talk about this next leak in another entirely separate 10 minute leak video. Unfortunately, I will be out of town for the next couple of days, so reluctant though I am, I have to talk about this next leak now, in the same video. <sighs> Shit. This next leak is not by the Tower of Smash Leaker, which I realize would beg the question, why am I talking about leaks from two separate people? They can't both be right. The leak in question is from 4chan. Old habits die hard. The leaker, Mango Nation, says the next DLC character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate will be Monica from Doki Doki Panic. The leaker then made a follow-up post saying, asterisk, literature club, damn autocorrect, lol. Now, unlike the previous leak, this one didn't have as much evidence. However, just last week, Monica had a surprise appearance in the teaser trailer for Persona 5 The Royal. While we do not see her in full view, she is seen wearing the same exact ribbon. Her hair does appear to be a slightly different color, but that's because the brown in Doki Doki Literature Club was fake, and the rain in this scene washed it away, and now she is back to having her natural anime hair. This whole trailer confirms the long-held fan theory that Monica was a phantom thief all along, or at the very least a confidant, and that Doki Doki Literature Club was actually a Persona spin-off. Fans have since speculated that when Sakurai was negotiating rights to have Joker appear in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Dan Salvato, secret supreme ruler of Atlas, also demanded Monica be added. 
Reportedly, Sakurai complied with a hint of fear in his face. So there you have it, folks. Monica will be the next DLC character. If it is not Gino, that is. Oh, what's that? Why, it's the leak alarm! It's going wild! Why, this must mean it's the leakiest leak of them all! Give me one second, guys. I can't let this leak get away. <laughs> Open up! It's the leak, police! <laughs> I've heard there were some leaks in here! Where's the leaks? Are they in here? Oh my god. This is the leakiest leak I've ever seen. I really don't like that I'm now talking about three leaks, but this one is definitely real. Please guys, I cannot stress this enough. Take this leak with a massive grain of salt. In fact, massive won't cut it this time. Take this leak with a sentient grain of salt. That's the type of salt that should be here. Anyway, this leak says, The leak come out. Does Sans Undertale is Smash? Sans Undertale is Smash is the most discussed in the community in the few years ago. Even it has happened in 2015, but some of the players still curious about what is exactly happening and to be the reason there is a leak comes out about his Smash. At that time, he became the massive tier list leak. The community, especially his worshippers, are shocked. He just came out with his bad leak, which is spread massively. This time is not about his century career, but his bad leak. The leak is out of standardized of hopes. According to the last reported, the skeleton revealed himself as bad time. Do you still believe or not? This leak is really much talked by people even in a person of his fans. But wait, there's more to this crazy leak. Do you guys remember when I said Sakurai mentioned Gino? You'll never believe this. He's also mentioned Undertale. Can you spell CONFIRMED? So there you have it, folks. Sans will be the next DLC character. If it is not Monica, that is. If it is not Gino, that is. If it is not Reggie, that is. Oh, I guess I forgot to mention, the R in Persona 5 R actually stands for Reggie. That's not a leak, that's a theory of mine. And more importantly, it's real. You see, when Reggie fils announced that he was retiring from his role as president of Nintendo of America, in actuality, this was merely a ruse to trick the public. Reggie is giving himself the chance to go deep undercover and steal all these popular video game characters to put into Smash Ultimate. Reggie thinks he stole Joker, but really, Joker stole that invitation. He wanted to get caught on purpose, so that he and the Phantom Thieves can infiltrate Reggie's palace and steal his treasure which is a cognitive version of Animal Crossing New Leaf on his Nintendo 3DS. All right, I refuse to go even one singular second over that 10 minute mark, so that about does it for this video, guys. I'll try to have another leak video up while I'm out of town. Uh, I might have to steal my grandmother's old camera and point it at the wall and read a leak off my phone or something, but I'll make it work. In the meantime, please make sure to leave a like and support me on Patreon because reading all these leaks is really hard. In fact, I can't even read. I only know what these leaks say because I dictate them to my mother and she types them out all on the burner accounts she sets up. Tell me in the comments which one of these leaks you believe the most, and whichever one wins, I'll make more 10 minute videos about. I'll see you guys on the next leak video. Smell ya later gamers!